Hey everybody, Tim from Ripple Rhythm here. Welcome back to my introduction to freestyle hand drumming. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos on freestyle hand drumming techniques, rhythms, games, and lots of other fun stuff. So, in my very first video in this series, I was explaining how rhythm is a universal language. Well, in today's class, I'm going to teach you the most famous phrase in that language. It is a phrase or a pattern or a call that originally comes from African drumming, but you'll also hear it at drum circles, and it's also used by percussion ensembles and teachers as a way of communicating to the rest of the group, hey, let's get ready, we're gonna start, and here's the tempo that we're starting on, or hey, Let's get ready, we're gonna change to the next pattern in the sequence that we agreed on. Or, let's get ready, we're gonna stop all at the same time and finish our pattern with a nice clean ending. So, this is the pattern. If we're using it to start, it's usually the conductor or the leader playing that pattern to give everyone the tempo. Clap it with me and let's say it like this. Let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. Say it again while you clap. Let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. One last time. And let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. So when we put that on our drums, when we play this call, we're only playing it on the high note. So using our arm and our hand to bounce our fingers off the edge of the drum, the pattern of your hands is not as important as the sound pattern. So don't get too worried about it, but let's play it. Here we go. Let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. One more time. And let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. One last time. And. Let's get ready, we're gonna start. Good. So, in this situation as the teacher, let's say I'm going to count us in to start the Nyabingi style rhythm. I like peanut butter, I like jam. So, instead of going four, three, two, one, I like peanut butter, I'm gonna play the pattern. Da, 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 da. And then you join me while we both start I like peanut butter. Okay, here we go. Listen for the call. Good, let's try it again, one more time. Listen for the call and then join me to start the rhythm itself. I sped that one up, did you notice? Okay, good. So let's say now we've started a rhythm, but we know we're going to make a change in there somewhere. That would be, let's get ready, we're gonna change again. And, let's get ready, we're gonna change. So in this case, we've started to play the Nyabingi rhythm. I like peanut butter, I like jam. When we hear that pattern again, let's get ready, we're gonna change, just to, I like. I like just the low note in the Nyabingi rhythm. Okay, let's try it. Peanut butter and jam, I like. Listen for the call, here we go. Did you pick up on that and go into the I likes? Good. All right. So let's say now we've started the rhythm, we've made a couple changes, and the last time we're going to play this pattern is going to be, let's get ready, we're going to stop now. You see, at the end, there's one last hit to make sure everyone in the group plays that last hit together, boom, and finishes off a nice, clean finish to our song. So, let's get ready, we're gonna stop now, again, and let's get ready, we're gonna stop now, good, 
one last time. Let's get ready. We're gonna stop now. All right. So when we put this on our drum, that last hit, the now, is a special new hit that I haven't shown you shown you yet. A special striking technique called the flam, F-L-A-M. And with that, you're hitting the drum with both hands, but not at the same time. There's a small space, so you hear, bra, listen, bra, again, and, again, and, right? So, the other thing is, when you're using it in that, sit in that phrase, let's get ready, we're gonna stop now, as the last hit of a song, you're gonna flare your hands out. It's kind of like a flamboyant way to end a song and say, ta-da, look at us, we all finished at the same time. So it goes like this. Let's get ready, we're gonna stop now. Bah, jazz hands. Again, and let's get ready, we're gonna stop now. Yeah, one more time. Let's get ready, we're gonna stop. Good. So here's going to be our special sequence. Let's get ready. We're going to start. I like peanut butter. I like jam. The next time, let's get ready. We're going to change. I like, I like. Then let's get ready. We're going to change. I like peanut butter. I like jam. And the fourth one will be, let's get ready. We're going to stop now. Peanut butter. I like peanut butter, stop. Okay, here we go. Listen for the call and we all come in together. Did you get it? I hope so. Hey, feel free to rewind and try it again. Get another shot at it. So, that is the world's most famous call in all of drumming. If you're playing this or practicing this in a group with some other people, you know what you can do? Take turns, each person being the leader and making those calls. Here's my suggestion when you do it. One, you want to make eye contact. As the leader, you want to put your head up, eyes up, and see if you can make eye contact with everyone, as if to say, hey, heads up, people, here comes something. All right, the second thing is, as the leader, when you make those calls, you need to make your drum a little bit louder in volume than everyone else. Again, you want to get their attention as the leader. Hey, whatever you're doing, listen to this, because something special is coming. So, eye contact, a little bit louder. And that's all you need to know about the world's most famous drum call. So, I hope you enjoyed this, hope you had fun, hope you learned something. Leave a question or a comment down below. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and please, by all means, pass these videos on to anyone you know out there who could benefit from a little more hand drumming in their lives right now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a drumful day, and all the beats.